Hello friends, thank you for joining me here at Non-Toxic Home today. I'm very glad you're here. Today I want to talk a little bit about a topic that is frequently brought up amongst believers, and understandably so, the mark of the beast. Now the mark of the beast, if you turn in your Bibles to chapter 13, verse 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now, I understand the concern about this. This is part of the beast system. We do not want to take the mark of the beast. However, this book is in chronological order. Remember, we serve a God of peace and understanding and knowledge. We don't serve the God of confusion. The God of confusion is Satan. Our Lord is not a God of confusion. If you read this, then you know that it's in chronological order. Now, why would all of the Bible be in chronological order except the end times? That doesn't make any sense, does it? I know that there are some pastors that say that the book of Revelation isn't in chronological order. They can say whatever they want. You know what? There are a slew of false prophets out there. There are a lot of people believing a lot of lies that their pastor told them. The church is not what it's supposed to be. Satan is not out in the drug dens and hanging out in the war-torn countries. He's in the church because he wants to attack God and attack God's people. The wars in you know third world countries, God, I can't imagine what those people go through. And the drug dens and those sorts of places, they don't need Satan to tell them and infiltrate them to, to his purposes, right? Whereas the church is not what it should be. It is quite corrupted by Satan. I have some very good friends who are true believers. They have, like me, tried countless churches to no avail. We aren't what we should be. The church is not what it, what it should be. I'm not saying that all churches are like that, but very few churches stick entirely to this when it comes to doctrine. This is the only doctrine. There is no other doctrine. Test every spirit, take everything to God. Okay, so we just read in chapter 13 of Revelation, and we just discussed how the Bible is chronological. That means, by extension, Revelation is chronological because Revelation is part of the Bible. <laughs> Before we get to that, we have the first seal, which I discussed in another video. I believe it's already been opened ever since I did that video on the first seal. It's been more and more confirmation from Holy Spirit personally that it has indeed been open, the first seal. The second seal is next, and that is the red horse. It could be a world war, but World War III will not be a war like we have seen before, if there is a World War III. It could also simply be the enactment of the Noahide laws. I have a video on that as well. It doesn't have to be men out in the trenches with guns in their hands. That's not what World War III will look like if there is a World War III specifically before, you know, some of the later events in Revelation and end times. Then you've got the third seal, the fourth seal, the fifth seal. By this time, a fourth of humanity has died. Has a fourth of humanity died from pandemics, famines, the beasts of the earth, which could be giants for as in the days of Noah, has that happened yet? No, it has not happened yet. And then we have the sixth seal where the stars fall out of the sky and the moon turns red and the sun is blackened. Has that happened? Nope. And you've got more trumpets where basically all the grass is burned up. You have the angel and the seven thunders. You have the two witnesses. Have the two witnesses come? Nope. <laughs> We're
we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Should we worry about the, you know what, that is being perpetrated as the cure for the fear virus? Should we be concerned about it? Yes. Is it toxic? Oh my word. It is so bad. Um, the, the technology that's being used for that V is technology that's not been tested previously. Now, what's incredible is that we've had so many years dealing with coronavirus outbreaks, and there have been so many attempts at creating a V for one, and it's never succeeded before. But now, of course, oh yeah, there's going to be one for it. Absolutely. Yes. And this is technology, as I've said, that hasn't been tested sometimes. Or in some ways, it's unclear exactly what's going to be in it. It could be um, part of the quantum dot tattoo technology. Could be a microchip. Could be the uh, DARPA's hydrogel that's in there. DARPA's hydrogel, if that gets in you, it fuses to your DNA. There is no detoxing from that. It's literally impossible to detox from DARPA's hydrogel if that is used this way. From the Vs that have already existed, I have a post from my last year's journey to the truth about that topic. And I have over 75 citations, CDC, World Health Organization, peer-reviewed journals, manufacturer websites, and on and on and on and on and on. Clearly demonstrates those are absolutely toxic. They are not health promoting and it's very questionable whether they provide any benefit at all. What we've got coming out now is even worse. So could what's being worked on be part of the market beast? Of course. Do we need to worry about it right now? No. <laughs> no, we have other things coming. And I apologize, the phone is ringing in the background. But hopefully this has helped address your concern about the market beast because quite frankly, we don't need to worry about it yet. Thanks so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a most beautiful and blessed day, friends.